the Wei Chi pieces were scattered, but the guru remained calm. It's getting late, he said gently to the woodcutter. Shouldn't you be heading down the mountain? As he glanced at the sky, the woodcutter was shocked to see how much time had passed. It couldn't have been more than two hours, he thought in disbelief. Feeling apologetic, he prepared to leave, worried that the guru would be annoyed with him. But when the woodcutter turned around, he nearly jumped out of his skin. The hermit guru, who had been playing Wei Chi and drinking wine, was now gone. In his place lay a shattered Weichi board and a heap of decaying bones. The woodcutter was so scared that he dropped his bamboo basket and ran down the mountain without even looking back. As he reached the mountain's base, he was hit with a stark realization. The quaint village he remembered had bloomed into a bustling town with sturdy brick houses replacing the humble thatched cottages. And where his home once stood, only an empty wasteland remained. He noticed a date on the calendar that he had never seen before. In shock, he grabbed a passerby and urgently asked, Excuse me, can you tell me the current date and time? As he heard the answer, his legs went weak. Everything had changed. Time had passed, and his loved ones were gone. No one remembered him anymore. So the woodcutter left Mount Firmament, but how is he still alive and kicking? With a hundred years' worth of time inside him, shouldn't he... Your story, it's a bit far-fetched, don't you think? I mean, if I wasn't from Hangzhen, I might have fallen for it. Well, that's the whole point. The truth is stranger than fiction, my friend. Every detail in that story is based on real events. Let me share with you the other legend of Mount Firmament. For deep within its sacred peaks lies a powerful secret. The secret of immortality. We all know that Mount Firmament is the abode of the Sentinel, gathering spiritual energies from both heaven and earth for countless eons. Over time, even the mountain itself has taken on the form of our majestic Sentinel. Living in the mountains for long stretches of time, surrounded by fresh air and drinking from nature's own bounty, can add years to one's lifespan. It all starts with that game of Weichi, one that the woodcutter stumbled upon. Too bad those secrets have been long forgotten. Gather around now, people. You're in for the story of a lifetime. See you there. What's with the ruckus? Huh? What's that in your hands? Hey. Oh. <gasps> Behold Hong Zhen in its entirety, next to a ring and hanging eaves. When eternal snow thaw into flowing streams, let us reconvene. Hmm? Oh, I see, I see. 
I see I've got no clue at all. I get the very last part at least. She's asking you out. <laughs> well, that's a fancy way to write stuff. And now, this next sentence. Hmm. Eternal snow thaw into streams. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? Oh, how did you manage to get all that hidden meaning? But the buildings in Hongzhen all look pretty much the same. Which one exactly was she talking about? Huh, makes sense. Lead the way! Nothing wrong. Huh? Oh, you're just asking for directions. <laughs> Sorry. I I'm not a local. Can't help you there. Wait, you, you were the one talking to Lady Chang Li earlier, aren't you? If I were you, I I'd steer clear of her. She's a deceitful woman who enjoys toying with people's hearts. A cunning villain who will manipulate you without you even knowing it. <laughs> Haven't you heard? She left her government job to come here, to this small town. There's gotta be a reason behind it. I heard she chose to quit her job, but I bet she messed up back in the capital and got demoted here as punishment. <laughs> Then I guess you've also been fooled by her looks. That woman will stop at nothing to get what she wants, while you remain oblivious to her true intentions. And by the time you catch on, <laughs> you'll already be caught in her trap. Hey, wait a minute. Has she actually achieved anything substantial during her time in Jinzhou? Or did Madame Magistrate just fall for her clever words and let her slack off? <laughs> I say you're underestimating Chang Li's trickery. I heard she tricked that VIP guest of Jin Zhou into going to Mount Firmament. <laughs> Just think about how dangerous that place was. She must have been afraid of him getting too close to Madame Magistrate and ruining her plans. <laughs> what a sinister woman. Fortunately, that guest was a skilled fighter and he managed to escape unharmed. I hope you don't mind my frankness. Just giving some advice, because you look pretty innocent and uh, gullible. <laughs> Enough from Jin Zhou, judging by your outfit, right? Oh, shoot. I completely forgot about something I need to do. Sorry, gotta run. she disappear like that? Wait, are you that legendary rover who saved Jin Zhou? <clears throat> what can I do for you? Well, you've come to the right person. I'm here to compile a new travel guide for Hong Jin. Next door ring and hanging eaves. Oh, I know where that is. You'll need to stand on the tallest building in Hangzhen to see what you're looking for. It's on the northeast side of the town. Can't miss it. You'll see it once you get there. Say, that person earlier, that was Lady Cheng Li, right? I saw you talking to her. I can't help but feel envious. I wish I could speak to her like you did, but she refuses to do interviews with the Pioneer Association. Plus, I doubt we have anything in common to talk about anyway. As Master Xuanmiao's disciple, 
She excels in the arts of politics and diplomacy. Her travels have taken her across the four seas. And as Secretary General, she has commanded respect from all who cross her path. Yeah, and she came all the way to Jinzhou to help out Magistrate Jinxi for the sake of peace in Huanglong. She's been working tirelessly behind the scenes since then, fully dedicated to her task. How could anyone not revere such a selfless act? Oh, I could have sworn I just saw her. Where did she go? Oh, I wish I could take one more look. Uh... <laughs> what can I help you with? When snow thaw into streams? Ah, uh, you're not from around here, I bet. When we say that in Hangzhen, we mean the Shichen of Wei. Early afternoon, the warmest hours of a day. Legend tells of a visitor who ventured here some centuries ago. Back then, local villagers were struggling with no firewood due to heavy snow. This visitor opened up a path with their forte and diverted a hot spring to provide warmth and aid. People say it was once a stunning sight, with mist and ice flowing westward down the streams, as if many celestial beings were returning to the sea. Now the site has unfortunately disappeared, but the saying sticks. We use it to describe time in local speech. Oh, please. I'm only repeating what I've heard from him. He's been on a roll with his stories lately, but let's not take them too seriously. They're just for entertainment. Not that I don't want to believe them, but... Oh, you were listening to one of his stories earlier, too, right? What did you think? Really? So you're into stories and anecdotes, too? Grandpa Zhou's great-grandfather was a descendant of the first inhabitants of Hangzhen. He grew up hearing stories about Mount Firmament. Recently, he heard Madam Magistrate had resolved the crisis, so he decided to visit and learn more about his roots. People in town are curious about the outside world and how they are perceived. Grandpa Zo is happy to answer their questions and has unknowingly become popular among them. Before he knew it, everyone was coming to talk to him. It's funny to hear outsiders describe my hometown, Hangzhen, as mysterious. You're just a normal place with our own quirks. Especially lately, with so many people from Jinzhou coming on some kind of expedition. They're obsessed with us, like we're some kind of ancient relics. Can you believe they actually asked if our pavo plums have magical powers? <laughs> Time truly is a formidable force. People here so divided about Cheng Li. Mm. You humans make everything so complicated. Well, at least now we know what she wanted to say. No, that's much easier to understand. Why does she have to make it a whole riddle? <laughs> I'm getting sleepy again. Rover? Nice to see you again. How are you liking Hongzhen so far? The crisis at Mount Firmament has been resolved, and the waterway between Jinzhou and Hongzhen is open once again. As a result, there has been an increase in visitors from Jinzhou, making the town more lively than before. With the chaos subsiding, our town and city are now reconnected, allowing residents to live and work in peace. We owe you a debt of gratitude, Rover, for your efforts in clearing the remaining effects of temporal disruptions in Mount Firmament over the past few days. 
We're all indebted to you, Hongzhen and its people alike. If there's anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. I couldn't help but notice you've been asking around. Is there something you need assistance with? Xin Yi and Chun Li have a mutual trust as acquaintances. It should be fine to ask Xin Yi instead. Hmm. I see. That sounds like something Chang Li would do. Even though we're not that close, I know a bit about her personality. She wouldn't just hand over something that symbolizes her identity to anyone, especially when. I think it would be better for her to tell you personally. The magistrate's counselor is shrouded in mystery, and her motives are often hard to decipher. When she wants something done, it's never as straightforward as it seems and few can grasp the true meaning behind her plans. The rumors and controversies surrounding her never cease, but she seems unfazed. However, I believe one has to get involved personally to truly understand Chang Li's intentions, regardless of public opinion. About the riddle, it seems you have already figured it out by yourself. But remember, it's not just about the answer, but also what she wants you to understand. Hm. Then, if you'll excuse me, if there's anything else you need here in Hongzhen, please do not hesitate to let me know. A ring, she wrote. Should be this ring-shaped ancient structure, I guess. Wow! It's really huge now that we look at it. Next, hanging eaves. If we look from here... Is it that pavilion? Hmm. It does look quiet. Should be a nice place for meetings. <sighs> Ugh, getting eepy again. That must be the place, then. I'll get going.
Apologies for my delay. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Oh? And what makes you think so? Those tokens from Jin Shi. It was your idea, was it not? <laughs> so, you've guessed it. Sorry, Rover. Jinjo faced multiple threats back then, and we had to be cautious. We did not intend to inconvenience you. I regret our lack of hospitality. Still, I owe you an apology in person. This time, <laughs> I just wanted to see you. The brilliant mind that always understood my unspoken words. I am very grateful you decided to come. Apologies for giving you that impression, Rover. That's not how we treat our saviors. I merely have a few questions, and I was wondering if you may have the answers. Does this game of Weichi look familiar to you, Rover? Apologies. I heard about your memory loss. Please, pardon me. There is a local tale about the secret of immortality being hidden on Mount Firmament. Have you heard about it? Yes, I have a slightly different version of this tale to share. Centuries ago, a Taoist cultivator met an enigmatic visitor on Mount Firmament. Despite their age difference, they soon became friends and often played Weichi together. One day, a woodcutter stumbled upon them, having lost his way home. Their game mesmerized him so much that he didn't notice the red tie on his basket rotting away. Panicked, he bumped into the Weichi board. Despite the interruption, the visitor remained unfazed. They offered the woodcutter some tea, then guided him down the mountain, shielding him from dangerous temporal disruptions. After that, the visitor disappeared. Many years later, the Taoist cultivator became a legendary hermit guru. Upon returning to Mount Firmament in his final years, he reunited with that elusive visitor. The two resumed their unfinished game. People believe the visitor shared their secret of immortality through cleverly placed Weichi pieces as a final parting gift. Yes and no. This game is missing the final 20 moves. It is unfinished. That was a bit different from what you heard before, I guess. The story changed over time, infused with fantasy in each retelling. But that's how old tales go, slowly losing their truth as they're passed down. Precisely. The legend may be shrouded in myth, but that game of Weichi was real. Embedded within its records lies a cryptic message. This game record can solve the crisis of time. From what I know, only the Sentinel in its prime has the power to manipulate time through its possession of a complete temporal mandate. For us mere mortals, controlling time is 
indeed similar to gaining immortality. As the records state, it only reveals itself when Mount Firmament emerges. But how it ties to the temporal mandate remains an enigma, at least for now. Yes, we may find a way to heal them. But our chances are looking slim. That game record could just hold my teacher's memories, not any real value. So I am presenting this as merely a personal request. I am planning to go find that record. Could you please join me? Thank you for lending me a hand. I promise it will be worth your while. Splendid. Very well. Let's meet on the gallery road outside Hongzhen. I still have some preparations to do. Please. Go ahead. I'll join you later. Rover, you're here. Well, as the Wayfinder, I do know a couple shortcuts. The notes only provided a vague idea of where the game record is. I've determined the most likely location on my last visit. We'll be heading there, see if we can find anything new. After dealing with those artificers, I ruled out the other locations on my way to join you. But one can only do so much alone. This is why I need your help. How reliable. Then let's get going. <laughs> Cheng Li? What is it? Nothing, Rover. I just thought... The snow is beautiful today. You seem curious about that ancient structure. It looks familiar. Like the abandoned Court of Savante facility I saw, but bigger in scale. I heard it first appeared along with our Sentinel. Later, the Court of Savante based their Kronos orders on its design. Every winter, my hometown buzzed as people left their mark in the fresh snow, hoping for dreams to come true when it melted. Did you try it too, Cheng Li? <sighs> no. I only watched from afar. My forte always melted the snow faster than I liked.
We can see the whole of Hongzhen from here. I never noticed how beautiful it looked during my previous visits. It's the same place as always. I suppose it's my state of mind that has changed. I don't know. Maybe it's because your presence makes me feel at ease. Wait! I smell tacit discords in that cave. No, there's more. Tacit discords, humans, and... and... Smells like a whole bunch of messed up frequencies. Ugh, it's so... familiar. Come on! After all we've been through, you still don't trust my sniffer? Huh. Be grateful. I'm giving you a warning. Rover, did something happen? It's in the same direction we're going. Could it be? of climbing. Someone may have been here before us. Get away from me! I can't hold up much longer! Help! Help! Thank goodness! Please stand back. We'll take it from here. I can fight! Let me help! You're that hero who fought against the Stranodian. And you also resolved the time crisis here with Madam Magistrate. Everyone's been talking about you. And Lady Chung Li. I, I never thought I'd have the chance to see you in person. Without your help, I'd have been a goner for sure. I can't die here. Not when I've got someone waiting for me. I finally, finally found it. After all this time. Ugh. While we've solved the crisis in Mount Firmament for the time being, public access to the mountain is still restricted. Before entering the mountain, any explorer must submit a request and can only do so while accompanied by the Midnight Rangers. Sir, could you please share your reasons for traveling here alone? I... I heard about Mount Firmament's legend, so I came to find its secret. I've only been in the mountain for half a day, Everything was going smoothly before those monsters pounced on me on my way back. <coughs> I must get back. Fooling. She's still waiting for me. Is 
It seems he is still hiding something from us. <sighs> he needs to go back to Hongjin for proper medical attention. Time is against us. Agreed. The appearance of tacit discords is indeed unusual. We can ask him later when he's recovered a bit more. On that note, we still don't know his identity. Judging from his uniform, he might be affiliated with the Pioneer Association. Then perhaps that someone is in Hongjin. Could be his friend or an acquaintance. Good point, Rover. Let's head back. What happened to him? Mm, not really. He showed up in town and started asking weird questions to all the older folks. They've been avoiding him ever since. The secret of immortality. I found it. Oh. He really went up the mountain, didn't he? Oh my. Quick, get him to a doctor. No. Uh, I'm fine. Go find Fu Ling. Sir, do you know where his companions might be? I'm not sure. There are lots of other people in town who are dressed just like him. Why don't you try asking them? His companions? Um, sorry, I joined the association not long ago. I don't really know them. His gear, though? These are last year's designs. Perhaps you should go ask Yoning. She's been a member for quite some time. She might know him. Yoning's just up ahead. Whoa! Uh, uh, greetings, Lady Chengli. Uh, how may I help you today, Lady Chengli? Oh, and... Hello, Rover. <laughs> uh, the person on your back, is he okay? We found him on Mount Firmament. Do you know where his companions might be? Isn't this Wu Li? What happened to him? He's one of the Pioneer Association's explorers, but we don't see him around Jinjo too often. I remember, he went on sabbatical months ago, and he left with Fu Ling. Yes, Fu Ling, his girlfriend. I think they're visiting Hong Jian together. They're staying at the inn over there. Oh, Fu Ling asked us about his whereabouts not long ago. She seemed quite worried. Speaking of, is he really okay? Perhaps we should get him to a hospital first. No, I'm not going. Fooling. She's waiting for me. Don't worry. We'll help you find Fooling. Yes, I am. 
Can you please tell me what happened? Fooling. Wooly, you're hurt. I've been looking for you. You didn't pick up my calls. Great news, Fooling. I found it. Finally. I found a way to slow down your illness. No more pain, my love. We can finally be together. Forever. You mean that legend? It's real? Fooling, are you... Are you not happy? No, I am. I I'm so glad to hear it. Thank you, Rover, Lady Chungli. You saved his life. May I please ask, what on earth happened? I've never seen Wu Li like that. So, he said he only spent half a day in the mountains. Was that not the case? No. I I've been... I I've been waiting for almost a week. I it's not unusual for Wooly to be out of touch for a few days when he goes on long trips. This time, however, seemed longer than usual. If it weren't for you two showing up, I would have asked the Midnight Rangers to help me search for him in the mountains. Wooly, he... he did it for me. I used to work as a landscape painter. Wu Li and I met through work, and we traveled to many places together. A few months ago, I got really sick. It affected my ability to walk, which got worse over time. We couldn't go on our adventures like we used to. Wu Li stopped taking on work and traveled all over the world to find a cure for me. Despite his efforts, we couldn't find any cures. Until two weeks ago, when he brought me to Hong Zhen. Said he had a surprise for me. I thought it was just going to be a relaxing trip. But he disappeared for seven days. And now he's back rambling about having found a way to stop my condition from progressing. Mount Firmament's secret of immortality, I presume? Yes. Wu Li told me that he's researched and found an untouched paradise on Mount Firmament. A place where time stands still. He said if I lived there, my condition would never worsen. It, it, it cannot fully cure me. But at least we can spend eternity together. At first I thought it was just a myth. But then you brought up how he only spent half a day in the mountains. Those were my thoughts as well. But Wu Li seemed very certain. Mount Firmament used to have temporal disruptions caused by its tumultuous history. However, thanks to Magistrate Jinshi and Rover, these disruptions have been dealt with. Or so we had hoped. So there are still unaddressed temporal disruptions in the mountains. And unfortunately, Wu Li has stumbled upon one, mistaking it for the legendary cure he was searching for. Little did he know, it would only put him in more danger. I see. So that's why there were rumors of rangers being here to take care of the leftover tacit discords and block off access to the mountain. Then, if this temporal disruption you speak of is truly so dangerous, 
Rover, Lady Chengli, please help us get rid of it. For the sake of everyone here. He truly thinks it's the only way to save you. He's willing to take a slim chance just for you. I... Freezing my own time. I don't think I should do that. It's not my best option. I appreciate your concerns, but I'll be fine. Dreams always come to an end. Eventually, we have to wake up and keep moving forward. <coughs> I'm, I'm okay. I haven't talked this much in a long time. Just a little tired. I'll be fine after some rest. Once Wu Li wakes up, I'll explain everything to him. If you have any other ideas, just tell him. But if you keep it all to yourself, no one, even those closest to you, will know how you really feel. Yes, I understand. Rover, things are taking a turn. We should probably tell Lady Xing Yi first. What brings you here at this time of the day? I see. Strange appearances of tacit discords in the mountains. And undiscovered temporal disruptions. There are several questionable details according to Rover's description. What do you make of Fu Ling's words from earlier, Rover? He claimed to have spent only half a day in the mountains, but it's been seven days since he returned to Hongzhen. That does sound like some kind of temporal disruption, one that wasn't strong enough to affect Hongzhen. After Jin Shi's battle with the Sentinel, she ordered Midnight Rangers to patrol Hongzhen and inspect Mount Firmament for any lingering temporal disruptions before reopening it to the public. Rover, you've been exploring the mountains lately, so I'm sure you have a good grasp on Mount Firmament. But if there are any hidden disruptions we missed... Precisely. Yet... Why did it reappear at this point? Fu Ling's legend differs from the situation at Mount Firmament we're familiar with. In that tale, mortals were spared the cost of losing years from their lives. He was utterly convinced of his discovery, and he somehow managed to run into temporal disruptions in half a day's time. Also, when I questioned him, he evaded my inquiries. Lies that are most challenging to detect aren't usually outright falsehoods. Rather, they hide parts of the truth. The explorer wanted to save his friend, indeed, but he was also hiding something. I've become rather curious about the truth behind this temporal disruption.
Did you notice something, Rover? For someone with a terminal illness, they should hold on to any chance of survival, no matter how slim. Is that what you think? Maybe she's come to terms with her destiny. Or maybe she never planned on continuing to live like that forever. Chang Li? <laughs> well, please pardon my baseless speculations. I knew you'd notice too. The frequency disturbance here is weak. It's similar to past temporal disruptions at Mount Firmament, but not exactly the same. Master Xuanmiao's records show that this is where the game record last appeared. This is also where we found that explorer. As Chang Li mentioned, this anomaly may indeed have something to do with that legendary game record. Exactly. If this were to be the case, then we are not the only ones searching for its whereabouts. The explorer did not tell us about his source of information. But his knowledge of Mount Firmament far exceeds that of a first-time visitor. You mean... Got it. The Midnight Rangers will block all entrances to the mountain for now. And Chang Li, you still have the power to send in garrison troops as needed. We left Mount Firmament in a hurry. I need to go back up the mountain and investigate further. I have some theories that could use confirmation. We're still unsure about the exact location and range of the temporal disruption. Regardless, its reappearance is a pressing issue that needs our attention. It may get dangerous. Well then, thank you, Rover. Thank you again for your help. You were supposed to be here for a relaxing time. But it seems another crisis has popped up. Do take extra caution.
now it has become quite clear what the two were thinking. I had my speculation. Fooling has come to terms with her impending death. She doesn't buy into the legends of immortality. Instead, she simply wants to make the most of the time she has left and fulfill her and Wu Li's dreams together. If Wu Li wants to reach that so-called paradise, he'll be trapped inside forever. It also means he'll have to give up his entire future as an explorer. That is not what she wants for him. Her ultimate desire is for her lover to embrace her inevitable passing and to realize the joint aspirations they hold in her place. She hasn't given up, but rather clings to hope for their future even if she won't be there to see it unfold. Hmm? <laughs> Why the sudden question? Is that how you see me? Hmm. Perhaps, for some, death is just a destination. There are more significant things to focus on. Let's stay focused on the issue while the diary is cryptic, it still exposes the true intentions of whoever misled Wu Li. It's no coincidence. All the clues point to a correlation between the temporal disruption and the legends of the Wei Qi game. Or maybe someone's trying to make us connect the dots. Yes, information on the actual powers of Jue this isn't the kind of information an ordinary explorer can obtain. I guess our old friends have still not given up. They went to great lengths just to lead us here. It would be rather rude of us to not respond in some way. According to the information in my master's notes and Wu Li's map, the place we're looking for should be just ahead. Is that? The chaotic temporal disruptions are even clearer to see. Traces of excavation on the ground. Looks like someone was trying to dig a hole with their bare hands. Could it be Wooly? This is a Weichi board. The abnormal time flow here is most likely caused by the Chronosorters. Perhaps there is a way to fix it. Marvelous play, truly remarkable. Occupying both solid territory and influence, an extraordinary move. Never had I imagined I'd experience such a great game of Wei Chi on Mount Firmament. <laughs> you may look young, my friend, but there's so much more to you than meets the eye. Please, no need to be so modest. I can tell the difference between our skill levels. This is my master's voice. The voice of the other person seems deliberately erased. 
Who do you think the other person looks like? It has been decades since last we met, but you, my friend, still look the same. Well, turns out I had already met you all those years ago, my lifesaver. And you're older than me. I should have been more respectful back then. So you remember our promise, I am overjoyed. A new city is about to be established. Having accomplished so much, why do you choose to retire now? I may have spoken out of turn. If you're not in a rush to depart, Jinjo, how about another round of Wei Chi with me? Even after 20 years, I still have no chance of winning against you. <laughs> I barely noticed how so much time has passed. Every move in Wei Chi is fluid and unpredictable. Even if we start with the same opening, or well, the outcome can never be predetermined. We see this in our game. And it's true for all the lives out there. My clan are a group of hermits. We view the world as a game of strategy, manipulating the ebb and flow behind the scenes. Oh, but you, my friend, chose to enter the game yourself. It's a dangerous path with no end in sight. Oh, I want to help, but my time is running out. I won't be there when you finally succeed. Now, oh, please don't feel sad for me. If I die, it would be an honor to rest at the Sentinel's feet. When the time comes, the one who shall finish this game of Wei Chi with you will not be me, but rather my apprentice. Or do my plans seem too risky to you? no need for concern. With her intelligence and quick thinking, she'll surely be able to solve this puzzle. The results of this game will decide the fate of Jinjo, and even the entire world. The road ahead is long and treacherous. Our final game. Let's make it.
You've come this far and followed us here, yet you hesitate to reveal yourselves. Guess I'll have to take the lead and extend an invitation. Don't assume you'll always be in control, Chung Li. Our friendly chat is over. It's time to say goodbye. Still not giving up yet, Chung Li. We know more than that unfinished game. We are well aware of the price you will pay. You're dangling at the end of your rope. Your unwitting trail has led us straight to our target. Oh, is that so? Blade. <laughs> Too fast. Who's the caged bird now? The Sonoro Sphere is open. Go. Sorry, but you're not getting past me. Jue's formidable time-bending abilities at their peak, all trapped within this sonorosphere, as I'm sure you are well aware. Do you really want to chase after this legend when you don't even know if it's real? So what? Wouldn't it be a sight to behold, as this Sonaro Sphere consumes everything in its path while the temporal disruptions bring death? Anyway, Rover, thank you for letting us into this Sonaro Sphere. You are indeed very special, as the Excellency foretold. Familiar space. No sign of the Fraxidus. Chung Li's nowhere to be seen. I need to find her quick. No! Don't come any closer! This village was attacked by tacit discords. There's nothing left. Why did you come here? No one but the exiles are willing to stay here now. Chung Li? Who's that? I'm the only one here. Besides the tacit discords. When I'm here... No one's afraid of me, and I won't hurt anyone. Anyway, you should hurry up and leave. It's not safe for you to be here. Mirages in a Sonora sphere shouldn't be able to hold a conversation like this. Is she a younger version of Chun Li?
Why did you stop talking? Are you lost? I... I can take you somewhere safe. I know a shortcut that leads to a safer village. <laughs> Is there something like this here before? These mechanisms. They need to be unlocked from both sides at once. Okay, let's each handle one side. I'll go over there. It's open! We'll be safe once we get out of here. This place seems a bit different from what I remember. Before. Don't worry. My forte is strong. I will get rid of them and protect you. Boils. Inferno. <laughs> Feel my wrath. <laughs> A miscalculation. Burn. Ready for battle. Tell truth from the sun. <sighs> Unstoppable. you back. The village I lived in got destroyed by those scary monsters. They hid me in a safe basement, while everyone else died or ran away. No one except me made it out alive. When I came out, no one was there anymore. 
Now, I must get to somewhere safe. Okay. Wouldn't hurt to be more prepared. There's a piece of paper. It has turned yellow. Oh. If I had arrived sooner. <sighs> okay. Take a single bite. You can have these. I... I'm not hungry yet. More tacit discords. I'll handle them. Okay. Bask in the sunlight. Roll for me. Going against. Ready for battle. to that door? Yes. And those tacit discords just devoured the frequencies of the guard on door duty. <sighs> Wouldn't hurt to be more prepared. but actually, it doesn't hurt at all. Of course. I'm a resonator too, you know. My forte is a powerful one. I control fire. Nothing's brighter and warmer than fire. It can burn away the cold and drive away monsters. That's because I don't know how to properly control it yet. The resonator who taught me about my forte said... If I don't use it properly, I'll die young. They also said a lot of things I couldn't understand. Told me I shouldn't use it too often. But if I don't use my forte, I'd get eaten by the tacit discords or killed by the bad people. What's the point of living a longer life if I can't even survive? I want to live. I want to become a strong grown-up. I want to have good control of my power and protect the people who protected me in the past. And then... And then... I'll make a peaceful and prosperous world for everyone. Yes. 
According to the village teacher, that means children will no longer be in danger from monsters. We'll all have enough to eat and stable lives. But I've still got lots to learn. So, I'll need to find someone really strong and learn from them. Thank you. I want to become as strong as you are. I... I understand. I'll do my best. What a strange place. It's supposed to look familiar, but there are so many things I've never seen before. This door... I don't know why, but I keep getting the feeling that I've been here before. It's so weird. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find something. Recreated inside this sonorosphere. As I stepped inside, both Rover and the Fraxidus vanished into thin air. The frequencies are constantly changing, and the flow of time is chaotic, just like it had been on Mount Firmament. A sonorosphere affected by temporal disruption. Once someone enters, there's risk of being stuck inside forever. And if my master had planned all of this, did he do this to mislead? To separate? Or perhaps... I should be careful. Whatever the case, I must find Rover first. Starving. Oh, this thing. Oh, if I burn it a bit with my fire, I can eat it, I guess. Play me, you little thief. I found these all by myself. 
You think I'm buying this story? How the hell does a little homeless brat like you score all this food? This is our turf. Better scurry off if you know what's good for you. Why don't we let her stay? See, she's a... We've got plenty of mouths to feed already. Unless you're planning to have her eat from your plate. Make it fast. Ma'am, are you okay? Oh, there's been a lot more tacit discords lately. I'm fine. Thank you for driving those monsters away. But honey, these cuts and bruises all over you. Some new and some old. They never seem to fully heal. I'm a resonator. These wounds are nothing. Oh. Oh, honey. You shouldn't be trapped in this place like we are for the rest of your life. You should go to the city. With a powerful forte like yours, you'll surely find a wonderful future for yourself there. But, ma'am, what about you and the others? You go out there and make something of yourself. Make us proud. And when you're ready, Come back for us. <laughs> what do you say, dear? And these. Take these with you on your way there. Glad you found them useful. This is where Master once lived in seclusion. The spaces are a jumbled mess inside this scenario sphere. Please, wait! <sighs> My dear, you've come all this way. What do you need from me? I haven't thanked you yet. You misunderstood my intentions. 
When I sought shelter in your hideout during the rain, I gave you rations as a small token of thanks. No need to be troubled by it, little one. But... But you told me... The path to safety lies in embracing fortuitous moments. I didn't understand what you meant by that. Well, now... Uh, I only said those words on a mere whim. Never expected you to remember them so clearly. I've heard Master Xuanmiao is a wise hermit guru who helps people. Can you maybe take me as your apprentice? I've been searching for you for so long. Please, will you consider it? I want to live. Learn to control my power and become stronger. Or I won't see a peaceful and prosperous world. Do you know what defines a peaceful and prosperous world? I think... I think it means people can take care of themselves and have a place to call home. Such a fearful power. If not used wisely, it may engulf you in return. Without proper guidance, you will eventually be reduced to ashes. Alas, Perhaps this is fate. I can teach you how to control your power, but in this world of ups and downs, relying solely on brute force will not get you far. If you long for a peaceful and prosperous world, you must utilize your own intellect to choose, strategize, and shape the future you desire. Come over, child. You bear the powers of flame manipulation. A phoenix born from fire. One that shall bring peace to this world. From this day on, your name will be Chung Li. Do you have to go, Master? My time in this world is up, my child. I have my own destination to head to. I can only accompany you so far on this journey. Are you going to a dangerous place alone? Why can't I go with you? not your turn to go there yet, Chang Li. You are a very gifted child, and you will surely achieve greatness one day. But the price you pay for forcefully employing your forte can never be erased. Oh, your lifespan is due to be much shorter than that of ordinary people. Yes, I understand. Remember what I have taught you. Ponder carefully 
plan meticulously and shield yourself wisely. For when you have grown into the person you aspire to become, your impact on this world shall be great. Chang Li will remember your teachings by heart, Master. But Master, this person you want me to find, how should I find them? When the time comes, you will know, and you will have my aid. You need only use your wisdom to offer that person some necessary guidance. He is the only one who can truly change this world. You must find and help him. This way, the world of prosperity you seek will soon be within reach. I believe I've found that person, Master. This Weiji Lord and the Sonoro Sphere, they are both a puzzle and an answer. The end of the Sonoro Sphere. Turns out it's exactly where he is. I guess this is another riddle from my master. Remembering something, but it's all just a blur. I can't make out any clear images. I've been looking for something for a long, long time. I don't know. I just remember that it's very, very important. Something that can change the world. But I'm starting to wonder why I'm even here. Everything looks so different from what I remember. And why do you look so familiar? We've never met before.
We might be able to open that door with it. What will we find behind that door? Yeah. I hope so. A scheme may be grander than not. I wish malevolence in its nascent guise. Master? Child Lee, you have done well. Now that you have found the answers you seek, it is time to begin your journey. From this moment on, the choices you make and the plans you lay out to that future. Sorry, I kept you waiting. This place! It... Run! It, it, it's a trap! They played us! Don't worry. This game is almost over. Can you feel it? It's warm. Doesn't hurt at all. See?
It's over. Did you find what you were looking for? Thank you for your help. The Midnight Rangers have successfully apprehended all remaining Fraxidus members in the mountains, and the effects of the temporal disruption have now vanished. I lost all contact with you during this whole time. Did you run into any trouble? Temporal disruption hidden inside a sonorosphere. It makes sense now why it stayed hidden for so long. I never thought the solution would be to burn down the entire sonorosphere from the inside. You went too far back there, Chang Li. I know my limits. Rover, Lady Chung Li. Wu Li is fine now, thanks to his doctor's help. As for me, well, at least I can still walk a bit. After all, it's been almost five days. I never properly thanked you for bringing me back to Hong Zhen. I heard about the attack by the Fraxidus in the mountains. I... I'm so sorry. No need for that. I understand. The Fraxidus had their eyes on the same thing we did. They've been planning an ambush on us for a long time. Why would we blame it on you? We will never forget how you saved us. You gave us the opportunity to witness such a breathtaking sight. Thanks to your help, this journey holds no regrets for me. As for the truth behind the so-called secret of immortality, Fooling has told me everything. I had a gut feeling it would turn out to be a disappointment, but I couldn't give up. And in the end, I lost sight of why I even started this journey. But this isn't the first time this has happened. Let's just call it another adventure coming to an end. I've talked about it with Fu Ling. From now on, I'll take her on more trips to see more new places together. Until... <sighs> Until the day when I can no longer hold a pen. I've already talked to the folks at the publishing house, and they're happy to let me continue painting for them. My eventual departure may be unavoidable, but I want to give it my all until the very end. I know you've already looked past death, but remember, there are people who care about you. They want you to live on and be happy. Yes, I understand. Sometimes I wish we could stay together a little longer, if only for a while. Of course, fooling. I... We've always been. It's not time to be sad yet, is it? I've compiled a list of renowned doctors in Huang Long. They're highly skilled and may offer assistance for your medical condition, which is challenging but not impossible to cure. Lady Chung Li, I, I truly can't thank you enough. No need for thanks. Hmm. If you're feeling generous and want to repay me, I hope to see Fu Ling's work in the next issue of Artists of Huang Long. Everyone's been missing seeing their favorite landscape artists work lately. Oh. 
Are you surprised? Well, now I'm curious. What kind of a person do you see me as? Now that the situation has been resolved, you should return to Hongzhen. You deserve some good rest. After going through so much, you must be exhausted, Rover. Me? Well, I think Lady Xing Yi could use the extra help in dealing with the aftermath. <laughs> well, it wouldn't hurt to have a little more faith in me. It's getting late. Maybe we should wait until we get back to discuss anything else. Two days have passed since Cheng Li told me that she and Xing Yi would handle the aftermath. I wonder how she's doing. Are you worried? Let's just go ask her then. Might as well. Cheng Li can be difficult to find. Let's go ask Xing Yi first. Greetings. We're almost done dealing with the aftermath of the previous incident. We're currently questioning the remaining Fraxidus members we caught at Mount Firmament. They wanted to get their hands on the temporal program from the legend of the Wei Qi game, with the intention of unleashing chaos in Mount Firmament once again. But thanks to you and Chang Li, their plans were foiled. Chang Li recounted to us that a Fraxidus overseer had entered the Sonora Sphere and was injured by her fire. They were lucky to escape, but have not been seen since. I've put together a thorough report for City Hall. We will strengthen our defenses to make sure this doesn't happen again. We parted two days ago on the coast, and then she returned to Jinjo. Perhaps she's just taking some time to rest and recover. It must have taken a lot out of her to summon that much fire at once. Chang Li knew you'd be worried, and she wanted me to relay this message to you. Meet her at the pavilion on Mount Firmament. She'll be waiting for you there. She also said, no more riddles this time. How are you feeling, Rover? Well rested, I hope. Aw, oh, can't you see I'm perfectly fine, sitting right in front of you? Don't worry, Rover. We are only having a casual conversation today. 
Nothing taxing. Besides, you only agreed to join me here for more questions, right? Oh, is that so? I'm curious then. Sure, ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. It all started a century ago, when my mentor, Master Xuanmiao, had a brief encounter with a certain peculiar visitor. During a TD outbreak, my master was rescued by that individual. He exuded a unique energy and was always elusive. My master dug through ancient texts and unearthed his presence in long forgotten history. After searching for several years, he finally met that person on Mount Firmament again. They played a game of Weichi together, and that was how the legendary game record came into being. At first, I thought my master meant the game record held actual information about the time crisis, but that was just a clue. The real key was finding you, the person behind it all. And lastly, the secret of immortality. It's most likely just the woodcutter's own spin on the tail. Sure, ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. My master and the mysterious visitor had set a trap with the Sonarosphere, using the Weichi game as a guise. They hid it with the Court of Savante's Chronos Orders, and it would only activate once the time flow on Mount Firmament was restored to its normal state. Despite the Sentinel and Mount Firmament being saved, the Fraxidus would not go down without a fight. They were convinced that the Temporal Mandate was hidden within the game of Weichi, but little did they know, they had already fallen into a trap. Pure coincidence or the calculated workings of the Fraxidus, the explorer stumbled upon the Weichi board, setting off its defense mechanisms. The Sentinel was already damaged when it arrived here. My master had foreseen the disasters that would befall Mount Firmament, so he created this mechanism as a precautionary measure. The Sonorosphere would devour all who attempted to enter unless they knew the solution to that puzzle. Precisely. The only way to escape was by burning the Sonorosphere without hurting anyone inside. It required masterful control of Forte. Thinking back, it was probably his ultimate test for me. That was his first goal with this Sonorosphere. Before leaving, Master entrusted me with a mission. To find that individual. The one who played Weichi with him. The one who left behind that game record. After my Master's passing, he would be the only one who could control the Sonorosphere. By now, you should know who he is. Yes. That's why you needed me as your Wayfinder. And from the moment you arrived in Jinzhou, I had my suspicions about your true identity. Our journey to Mount Firmament solidified my beliefs. And finally, the Weichi board in that Sonorosphere sealed the truth for me. Sure, ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Indeed, those memories, they were all real. Yes. 
Yes. That's all in the past. Just a little homeless girl with no name. I never thought we could make new memories in the Sonorosphere, where only the past repeats itself. A moment of companionship and protection meant everything to me. I can sense your unspoken question. Did I sacrifice my life when I burned down the Sonorosphere, like when I was a child? What I told you there was true, but I've grown and gained control over my powers. Using my forte now won't harm me in any way. Of that, you can rest assured. Also, if you really are the legendary person who changed the course of history, then you are perhaps the closest to immortality, aside from our Sentinel. We mortals come and go. Our lives are full of meetings and goodbyes. Our time on this earth is fleeting compared to yours, so don't let it bother you. I see. Perhaps this is why it's so hard to leave this beautiful world behind. Then, would you be willing to finish that game of Weichi with me instead? The young orphan girl carried on. Everywhere she looked, tragedies rampant. As lament engulfed the globe, a world torn by monsters, filled with homeless souls. With her own blood as fire, she drove away the cold. And her master said, In this tumultuous world, lives are fragile as mayflies. She couldn't exhaust herself to save those before her. But she must endure to ignite a brighter tomorrow. She wielded her wits to evade harm, treading on knives with care. Alone, yet maturing through stumbles. Later on, she became someone else's teacher. She taught the future leader this, to guide conscience and secure prosperity for the people, to continue lost teachings of past sages and establish peace for all. I will be the torchbearer, for one person can't rid the world of chaos alone. One day, a future of prosperity and lasting peace will arrive.